Hey guys, today I will teach you how to count rhythms such as this one on the board. Let's get started. When counting the rhythms, it is very important that you know the note values. If this is something that you are not familiar with, make sure to check the video that I created on note values first. It can be found in the description below. Remember that rhythms are created with both notes and rests. A whole note and a whole rest have four beats. Therefore, when counting a whole note, we use four numbers like in this example. To show that we hold and sing or play throughout all four counts, we use a hyphen between the numbers. Here's an example of a whole note. The same goes for a whole rest, but we also add the parentheses around the numbers to show that we are silent for four counts. A half note and half rest have two beats. Therefore, when counting a half note, we use two numbers. If the note starts on the first beat of the measure, we use numbers one and two. If it starts on the second beat, we use two and three. And if it starts on the third beat, we use three and four. Remember to use a hyphen between the numbers to show that a note is longer than one beat. Here is an example of two half notes. The same goes for a half rest. Do you remember what we used to show that we are counting a rest? You're correct, parentheses around the number. A quarter note and quarter rest have one beat. Therefore, when counting a quarter note, we use one number. We will use the number based on which beat in the measure the quarter note starts. Here is an example of four quarter notes. A quarter rest will have the same way of counting but we will again add parentheses to show that we are counting a rest. Before we start writing our counting in music, we need to understand our time signature. The time signature tells us how many beats there are in a measure. When we know how many beats there are in a measure and understand our note values, we can start counting. Remember that our top number in time signature tells us how many beats we receive per measure. The bottom number tells us which note counts as a beat. Let's now look at some examples. Our first example uses a 4-4 time signature which indicates that there are four beats in the measure. We will use numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 to write in the counts. The rhythm starts with the whole note, so we write in 1-2-3-4. A second measure starts with a half rest and then continues with a half note. Therefore, we write 1 hyphen 2 in parentheses and then 3 hyphen 4. We then continue to the third measure with quarter notes and a quarter rest. We write 1, 2 in parentheses, 3, 4. The last measure we start with 1 in parentheses as we have a quarter rest then two hyphen three, four. This is what this rhythm sounds like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's try to clap it together. Don't forget to count out loud when you're doing this. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice that every new measure starts with number one. If you ever get any different number right after the bar line, then something went wrong along the way. Let's now look into an example with 3-4 time signature. How many beats will we have in each measure this time? You're right, 
3. And therefore, we will use numbers 1, 2, and 3 to add the counts. Before I give you an answer, pause this video and try to add the counts on your own. Remember to always start a new measure with number 1. Here's the answer. Not too difficult, right? Now I will clap this rhythm for you and you can listen to what it sounds like. Let's now clap this rhythm together. Ready? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now that we know how to clap and count this rhythm, let's sing it together. Remember to keep on counting silently in your head as you do this. Here's the pitch. Do. Next are the eighth notes. An eighth note and an eighth rest are one half a bit long. Eighth notes often come in pairs. The two notes can be either single or beamed eighth notes. Two eighth notes together equal one beat. Do you remember which note value has one beat? You're right, it's a quarter note. This means that if we add up two eighth notes together, they equal one beat or one quarter note. To count these eighth notes, we can only use one number because they equal one beat. We notice that we have two note heads, so what we do is add a number for the first note and the symbol for the second one. That symbol is a plus and when we say it, we will say end. One end, two end, three end, four end. Let's look at some rhythmic examples that include eighth notes. We have four beats in the measure, so we are using four numbers to count this rhythm. One, two hyphen, three, four, and. One in parentheses, two, three, and four. One and two, three, and four. One hyphen, two, three, and four. Clapping will sound like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, one, and two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. Let's try it together. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, one, and two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Let's now add eighth rest to our eighth notes. The procedure is exactly the same, but we will now need to add parentheses to the number or a symbol with a rest. The trick will be to make sure that you don't clap on any of the eighth rests, especially if they appear on the downbeat. Therefore, I recommend to add a dot or a line underneath the counts for single eighth notes like I did in the following example. Let's go slowly from one measure to the next one. The first measure will look like this. One, two, hyphen, three, four, end. The second measure, one in parentheses, two, three, and in parentheses for the eighth rest, four. The third measure, one, and in parentheses, two, and in parentheses, three in parentheses, and four in parentheses, and. The last fourth measure will look like this. One, and in parentheses, two, three in parentheses, and Four. I will now clap this very slowly. One, two, three, 
four and one, two, three and four, one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four. Let's try this together. Ready? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four. Good work! Now you know how to count rhythms with whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes, and all the corresponding rests. Don't forget about the basic rules when counting your rhythms. Number one, always check the time signature before you start counting. Number two, if a note is one beat long, we use one number to count it. Number three, when counting notes that are longer than one beat, we use a hyphen between the numbers to indicate that the note is sung or played longer than one beat. Number four, when we are counting rests, we use parentheses around the numbers which show that we are still counting the beat, but we are silent. Number five, write the counts underneath the rests and notes very precisely. Number six, always start a new measure with number one. And number seven, when clapping your rhythms, always count the rhythm out loud. It's not that difficult, right? Now take a simple rhythm that you might have been practicing lately and see if you can add all these counts to it. 